Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing my August bullet journal setup. So without further ado, let's get started. So a while ago, I did a video on how to get back into bullet journaling, and that's actually the very video that I used to get back into bullet journaling this time round. So I kind of assessed my needs, and uh, I decided that for the month of August, on a trial basis, I did want to be back into my Leuchtturm. Uh, so in this first part of the video, you will see me writing on these sticky notes, and it actually has nothing to do with August, but I am also including a health reset in my Leuchtturm. I've really been wanting to incorporate both a morning routine and a nightly routine just to give my day a sense of balance and a sense of purpose. I really am a creature of habit and I do like having routines but I haven't really had one in quite some time and I feel kind of dysregulated. I feel like I'm reaching for my phone more than I should. I feel like I'm waking up to my phone and uh, I just want to fill my day with more things that bring me lots of joy. So you can see I'm dedicating some pages to that. I'm going to do a uh, morning and night routine and then I have something called menu items. So I'm making myself a little menu of healthy habits that I can pick and choose uh, depending on the day because as much as I do like habits, I also like variation. So I'm doing a list of appetizers which are fun extra things for my health. I'm doing a list of mains, which are like important necessities for my health, health <laughs> like exercise, and I'm doing some desserts. And the desserts are fun things that I can include, such as reading and journaling and creative things. And I will also have a list of expenses that cost like fake money, <laughs> such as being on my phone and doom scrolling, um, eating when I'm really bored instead of not hungry, etc, etc. So I'm not setting that up in this video, but if you guys do want a full video on my daily routine and the menu items and kind of an update on how that goes, let me know and I would be happy to oblige. All right, moving on from that snooze fest, let's actually get into my August setup. For the month of August, I'm using these print-on stickers instead of doodling things by hand. I am just gonna be honest, you know, it's already August 1st and I was feeling really lazy. I didn't wanna have to doodle anything by myself. I just feel like that's a portion of bullet journaling that makes me feel really overwhelmed is the thought that I have to do everything by hand. And I don't, especially not when these beautiful print-on stickers exist. Um, so so I just picked a couple sheets um, that I thought fit the vibe. You know, I have been doing my snail mail with my friend Addie, so I thought this was a really cute kind of vintage mail look. And so these are the ones that I picked. If you are interested in purchasing any print on stickers, I will say there is a humongous learning curve when it comes to these. I say that, but maybe it's just me. I find them super temperamental. I don't know if you saw that, but I just broke my tool while doing this. Um, the amount of sh like sheer force and friction that you need to apply these things should be studied because, oh my God, I was like making so many indentations on the paper. Just a disaster, honestly. Um, and it took me way longer than I'd like to admit, which is why I'm speeding this up because how embarrassing. Um, um, but anyway, once I had the print on stickers that I liked, I also went in with some washi tape. You guys know that this is kind of like a signature move that I love to do is just put on a couple strips of washi and a couple more accents. And that's really all that I did, guys. It was really simple and I mean, I just honestly love doing no frills. But what is happening with my voice? Do you guys hear that? Hold on, let me cut and come back in. You know what? I'm leaving that in. <laughs> Moving on, the next thing I did was divide this page into quadrants and then did my leftovers, goals, this month and next month just to divide any tasks that I had. Uh, moving on, rather swiftly, I did a month at a glance. I didn't want to do a classic calendar, so I just did this. Again, super easy, very no frills. And then I'm doing an August tracker and the only thing that I'm tracking this month is whether or not I complete my daily routine because the daily routine um, kind of encapsulates all of the habits that I want to track anyway. 
And then I don't know if you caught that, it's going mega fast, but I am also doing an August bucket list of just things that I wanna do this August. Something really summery and something really pretty. And then, <laughs> then i um am done that's it <laughs> i just went back in with some accents and that is everything um as you can see i i quite like it i think it's very um flowery floral very summer very cute and very minimalist uh, once again, let me know if you would like to see my daily routine, how that pans out, and if you want updates. And aside from that, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by, and take care. Bye-bye.